Hey guys, it's Claire Cunningham here with Cup of Tea TV. I'm a singer songwriter originally from County Louth in Ireland, and I lay my hat now in Nashville, Tennessee. So I had a lot of musical influences growing up. Um, I'm a very diverse multi-genre artist and I think that's because my love for music was so diverse as well growing up. Um, my main influence, uh, and it comes as a surprise to some people, uh, was Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson was an artist that encompassed everything. He had great music, he had great messages and you could just tell he had a passion for what he what he did and i gravitated towards that because quality um is something i strive for in this world and love um and just the simple necessities in life that we should all kind of um gravitate towards he kind of put all of that into his music so he was a huge huge influence on me growing up um you know a lot of other artists um including some that people may not know in the states but christy moore uh, an irish artist uh, was a big influence on me um garth brooks in fact i called my first hamster garth after garth brooks uh, that was the only part that made the cut in um, the documentary that I got to do um, back uh, a couple of months ago, if anybody saw it back home. Shortly after the release of the Chris Gaines album, Garth announced his retirement. But even out of the spotlight, the country artist remained an influential figure. Many aspiring Irish musicians have grown up listening to his music and some have followed in his footsteps and moved to Nashville to try and find success. When anybody asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up, I was like, I'm gonna be a rock star. <laughs> so it is, it's something that really heavily kind of was bestowed upon me and it was just something I knew I, it was the only thing I ever wanted to do. So when people ask me who my influences are, like Garth Brooks was somebody like, well, I grew up on him and I even called like my first hamster Gareth after Gareth Brooks because again you could feel connected to him even though he was from a different country a different era even whatever it was just like you always felt like you could connect with every single song he nearly put out there. Um, Alanis Morissette was my first cassette tape so Jaggy Little Pill that album still is so prevalent today but she was just so beyond her years and I just I loved her sound I loved her music I loved her rawness I loved her vulnerability even at such a young age I could tell she was a real artist and as somebody who is very real myself I tend to gravitate towards those kind of artists um there were so many artists that weren't even Irish that I loved as well. Um, there, There's too many to even mention, to be honest. i will be here all day, but um, I did love rock and roll as well. So 70s classic rock and roll, 80s, loved ACDC, T-Rex, um, you know, Guns N' Roses, Led Zeppelin. Um, there's just, to name but a few of, of the different uh, musical influences that shaped me, for sure, yeah.
I believe my road to music was always set in stone. Um, I wasn't somebody who late bloomed into it. I think it was just always ingrained in me. Um, even at the age of three, somebody had asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up and I was like, a rock star. And I just, I knew nothing else really. Um, and then, so because of my um, inquisitiveness to want to get into that world, uh, I started like uh, on keys, um, which then became the piano that still stays at home, the upright grand that I got. Um, and then I transferred my knowledge of the the keys onto guitar where I self thought myself but you know songwriting was something that I was doing as a child as well without realizing that it was songwriting um I was writing poetry and so you know looking back now um it was really lending that poetry to the music that I was writing that became the you know um that became the songwriting um start for me um but music maybe coming from ireland and coming from such a, a culture that loves music um where it's just you know it's it's a real um community based um love that everybody has and it brings us all together so i just think that that was a big part of why I just naturally fell into it as well, you know, uh, and as a profession then. so doubly dark I felt her wing brush softly cross my Irish heart and they called her and they called her angel of the emerald night oh they called her yes they called her angel You know, I'm laughing. What is my latest release? Uh, that changes like every month. <laughs> I, I put out a lot. Uh, the latest release that I've put out uh, was a music video called Clovers. Uh, it came out on March the 5th. Um, Clovers is a song though that I put out maybe two or three years ago. Um, when I found my faith again and I restored a relationship with Christ. It was the first song that I wrote as a thank you for taking me back. And so um, it's such a wonderful, um, meaningful, prevalent song to me. Um, and the music video just really put everything that that song is about into motion and into a picture. Um, and I actually am rebaptized for real in the video too, which is kind of awesome. So um, yeah, that can be checked out on all the the you know the streaming platforms, YouTube, Vivo, um, and, and and places like that. Uh, so that's my latest release per se for for videos. And then I will have another song that's going to come out in April. I haven't got the date yet, but. Um, that's going to be the next one and the latest song i guess i put off was uh comfort zone and that was the last single to come off of my mercy ep that i released back in 2022 for mental health awareness so yeah lot and lots coming this year <laughs> so 
the future is looking pretty bright for me, uh, especially this year. It's always every day that I'm alive is a great day. However, um, my most exciting thing today to come is in six days. Uh, as in from filming this for you guys, uh, where I'm going to step out on into the ah, famous circle at the Grand Ole Opry. Um, I never thought I'd say that, but I am. And it's starting to sink in. Um, so that's going to be exciting. Uh, it's my debut there. Um, I've been on the stage twice prior, um, but never to debut. And... Mr. Steve Earle has invited me to sing a song with him. So, uh, and a very famous song. I'm sure everybody will know what it is. <laughs> but uh, very, very, very pleased and honoured um, to be doing such a thing. Um, I have to say a massive thank you to Brenda Willis of the Music City Irish Fest. Uh, it's a whole festival going on in the Opry outside and inside um, this coming weekend for St. Patrick's Day. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be absolutely fabulous. Um, this year after that is going to see a lot of different releases from me. I've got two projects. Um, I've got uh, one that's going to be called Helping Hand. Um, I'm currently, I think I've got about nine songs. I may have ten. So it's looking more like an album. My first album actually. Um, I've always put out little mini EPs. Uh, but that's going to be uh, very inspirational, faith-based. Uh, encouraging kind of uh, record that I'm very excited about, really, really excited about that one. And then I'm going to put out another Celtic um, EP probably, uh, mini album, um, and that's got some really uh, cool little golden nuggets hopefully that you're all going to enjoy. Um, so yes, that's coming this year at some point, I'm not really sure. I know my next single is going to come out in April. And then I have a bunch of festivals. Uh, I'm going to be touring up and down the country, uh, a lot of different Irish and Celtic festivals, uh, some songwriter festivals, um, just different corporate stuff, just continuing to write, um, and just got to um, renew not renew my visa but i am i'm coming up to the end come january of next year uh on the current one that i'm on so i have to look into the next uh, process so that's always fun <laughs> but uh yeah so it's gonna be a busy year um just staying focused uh, doing whatever the good lord needs me to do um and just going with the flow and um just trying to keep my head above water and just do the thing you know uh, as long as i'm communicating and connecting with people especially on mental health awareness and my culture um and you know my faith is big for me uh, as well you know and um, so as long as i can just stay true to myself and continue to give you guys uh, my heart and my soul because that's really what goes into my music you're not going to get um anything other than that from me um so yeah that's that's what's coming up this year and uh yeah it's a, it's a really exciting year so far so blessed so yes and you can check me out on all the socials and my website's claire cunningham c-l-a-r-e cunningham music.com and all the links are there so yeah blessings to you all thank you cup of tea tv Mwah.